like many characters in the Bible when they are called, they often have reasons why they should not participate in the ministry. Hi, welcome once again to another episode of the Dawn of Faith Devotionals. I hope you've been blessed. I hope you've been sharing with your friends and family and loved ones. And today we're going to learn, uh, we're going to get a lesson from the story of Prophet Jeremiah. But before that, let us pray. King of heaven, we humble ourselves before your throne of grace. We thank you for the gift of life and the good health and strength. We ask for wisdom and understanding of your word even as we study from the prophet Jeremiah. This is my humble prayer, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. So our scripture today is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 5. The Bible says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee as prophet unto the nations. So in the book of Jeremiah, the character is introduced as having already a purpose. The Lord says that before you were formed in your belly, I knew thee. And in fact, before he was formed, he already had a purpose. So by the time Jeremiah is born, he knows what his plan is. He knows what God's plan for him is. Not only that, but you also know that Jeremiah is a son of a priest. Verses 1 tells us that, that his father was a priest. I'd like to assume like many pastors' kids, you grow up in the church and you participate in many of the activities of the church. You see your father working, his dedication, time spent in church and not with family. And you can almost have a sense of what it means to work for the Lord. It's a, a, a life of sacrifice, a life of giving to others and taking very little for yourself, even and including your family. And Jeremiah must have seen this growing up, that his dad must have worked very hard in the church and underwent so many trials and tribulations. So I'd like to assume that maybe Jeremiah did not admire such a life because it was, it was not conventional. But the Lord says that to Jeremiah that I've given you a purpose. Uh, I, have give, I have sanctified thee and I have ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Again, like his father is given the role of being a prophet, a servant of the Lord. But Jeremiah says something. Verses 6 of Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 6. The Bible says this. Then said I, Our Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Like many characters in the Bible when they are called, they often have reasons why they should not participate in the ministry. God has called Moses, God has called Abraham, God has called, now he's calling Jeremiah, and he has a reason why he should not do this particular ministry. Have you ever thought to yourself that, or have you ever felt a prompting on your heart that God is calling you to do something, but then at the same moment, you have a reason why you shouldn't do it? Sometimes we tell God, I, I want to be your servant. I want to work for you. Anything. I'll do anything, Lord, but that one thing that you're asking of me. Just think about it. Jeremiah must have been like, God, you're asking me to be a prophet, but you always have a but, and you always tell God anything else but that. But I like what Jeremiah does because in the subsequent verses, we see he accepts his calling and the Lord places his hand on his lips and blesses his lips. And you see the ministry of Jeremiah being a very powerful one. The whole book of Jeremiah is written about, the, about his work as a prophet. And indeed, true to the fact, his work as a prophet was indeed hard. In fact, we refer to Jeremiah as a lamenting prophet. And he even wrote a whole book called Lamentation about just how hard his work was. But the Lord called him to that life. So when the Lord calls upon you and he calls you to do a ministry that perhaps you felt, Lord, tell, give me anything else but that. Just look at the life of Jeremiah because the Lord has given each and every one of us a purpose. He has given each and every one 
of us a ministry to do. Do not resist the promptings of the Holy Spirit upon your life to do the work that God has given you today. Be blessed.